There are warnings everywhere, but experts say what we're experiencing won't be as bad as last year, with temperatures about 5 to 10 degrees cooler. 98% of the people who died in last year's heat dome were because they were spending that time indoors in dangerously hot conditions. When you get to 31 degrees overnight in your building, those are really dangerous conditions that cause this extremely high uptick in m mortality as we saw last year. Though it won't be as hot, first responders are ready just in case. I will give them credit. They've already activated their emergency uh, command center. They've, they're really getting ahead of it this time for sure. If the unexpected volume comes in, no matter how prepared they are, at the end of the day, we are still suffering from significant staffing shortages. So if the volume spikes through the roof like it did last time, it's entirely possible that we will have the same result as last time. In many cities around BC, cooling centers and misting stations are open, water parks are running, and people are being encouraged to cool off when they have the chance. Richmond Fire Rescue Chief Jim Wishlove says his department has been in a heat response plan since yesterday. We have uh, our full staff day and night in the city ready to respond to those emergencies, so I'm very confident that we'll be able to respond and help anybody in need. The summer weather and the heat is a blessing. Um, it does present some issues that don't happen during the rest of the year, and so uh, I can't stress enough the preparedness piece to, you know, stock up on water, hydrate, look after yourselves, use sunscreen, uh, stay out of the heat. And as we work to stay safe this time around, Experts warn climate change means heat events are here to stay. Steve Jong, CBC News, Vancouver.